Air pollution is a complex and multifaceted issue, and there are a wide range of pollutants that can have significant negative impacts on human health and the environment. Here are some of the most common pollutants and their impacts. 1. Particulate matter. Particulate matter is made up of tiny particles that are released into the air from a variety of sources such as vehicle exhaust, industrial processes, and burning of fossil fuels. These particles can penetrate deep into the lungs, causing respiratory problems, heart disease, and other health problems. Particulate matter is classified according to its size, with the smallest particles being the most harmful. 2. Carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide is a colorless, odorless gas that is released into the air from the incomplete combustion of fossil fuels. It can be extremely harmful at high concentrations, causing headaches, nausea, dizziness, and even death. Carbon monoxide reduces the amount of oxygen that the body can absorb, which can lead to hypoxia, a condition where the body's tissues don't receive enough oxygen. 3. Nitrogen oxides. Nitrogen oxides are gases released from vehicle exhaust and other combustion processes. They contribute to the formation of ground-level ozone and can cause respiratory problems and other health issues. Nitrogen oxides is also a major contributor to acid rain, which can have negative impacts on aquatic ecosystems and forests. 4. Sulfur oxides. Sulfur oxides are gases that are released from burning fossil fuels, particularly coal. They can cause respiratory problems and contribute to acid rain, which can have negative impacts on aquatic ecosystems and forests. Sulfur oxides is also a major contributor to the formation of particulate matter. 5. Lead. Lead is a heavy metal that can be released into the air from industrial processes and the burning of fossil fuels. It is extremely harmful, particularly to children, causing developmental problems, neurological damage, and other health issues. Reducing pollution requires a multifaceted approach that includes reducing emissions, improving energy efficiency, promoting sustainable transportation, and other measures. Some examples of steps that can be taken to reduce air pollution include Promoting the use of clean energy sources such as wind and solar power Encouraging the use of public transportation, biking, and walking instead of driving Improving the fuel efficiency of vehicles and promoting the use of electric and hybrid vehicles Implementing stricter emissions standards for industrial processes Promoting energy efficiency in buildings and homes Encouraging individuals to reduce their carbon footprint by conserving energy and reducing waste. And the last is to invest in the research and development of new technologies that can help reduce emissions. Write your questions in the comments. See you in the next video.